Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and I'm about to do the riskiest thing I've ever done with my tank. So what am I doing that's so risky? I'm getting a black tang ready to go into a tank with fully established tangs. So let's take a minute and talk about this black tang. It's not a true Hawaiian long nose black tang. It's actually a hybrid black tank. So it's a hybrid between the Hawaiian long nose and a Scopus tank. So what that means is it's incredibly rare, but it also means it's not going to get that long Pinocchio nose that you see on the true Hawaiian blacks. Now, which is better? Well, that's really up to your own aesthetics. The other thing is these hybrid tanks are going to be a little cheaper than the true Hawaiians, although pricing, I couldn't find any for sale, so I really can't tell you how much this fish actually costs retail. So what I gotta do is get this hybrid black tank used to my 210 gallon tank and it's tank mates. Now there are four fish in here that I'm really worried about. That's the yellow, the two purples, and the powder blue tank. The Zebra Soma tangs are notorious for fighting each other. And the three Zebra Somas I have that I'm worried about have fought in the past. Right now, the three of them have their own little truce going on and it's relatively peaceful. But it's still risky to add another one, especially one as expensive as a hybrid black tang. And of course, the powder blue is just a bully and wants to fight anybody. So to make this happen, I've quarantined the fish for 10 days in Cooper Maine. To find out more about how I quarantine, check out the video kind of up here or down in the description down below. To get the new hybrid black tang used to the new tangs, I've built it an acclimation chamber. Once I got the acclimation chamber in the tank, I put the hybrid black tang in and now he's gonna stay there for as long as it takes for me to feel comfortable that he's gonna do well in this tank with all those tanks. Now, first I have to watch this tang to make sure he doesn't stress out in the acclimation chamber. And I'm also gonna be watching his current tank mates. So the big ones I'm worried about again are the two purples, the yellow and the powder blue. I'm really looking for any aggression between them and I wanna see all of that gone before I put the new hybrid in the tank. Here's the acclimation chamber I built for the black tank. It's some egg crate with some Jibo magnets zip tied on. Dimensions are 21 by 10 by nine. And the goal was really just to give this fish as much possible room to swim as possible. So I looked at the top of my tank and I measured out the exact amount of room I could spare at the top and gave him all of it. So he'll have a fair bit of room to swim around in there while he gets used to the other fish. The hybrid black tang was in the acclimation box for about a week and I decided to put him in the 210 gallon display. I put him in the tank just before lights out and let's just say it didn't go well, but I was hopeful the lights would go out and things would get better. After the lights went off on the tank, things were bad, but it looks like something we were going to be able to work with. It wasn't horrible. These fish looked like they were going to learn to get along. By morning, the aggression was brutal. And that's when I did that now infamous live stream of me putting the black tang in the tank. And it got tons of thumbs down. And I guess for good reason. Nobody wants to see a beautiful tang like that just get beaten on. But I really want to keep it real on my channel. And it's sad, but he really did just get the crap beaten out of him. I had to do something. The big thing you guys suggested was a mirror. So I tried the mirror. I did the live stream and you guys suggested that I put a mirror up, so I did. And it's actually working rather well. The powder blue spends the entire day sitting there, checking himself out, fighting himself because there's another powder blue. And surprisingly, the yellow eye cold tank's part of this party. He um, is never aggressive, so that's interesting. But it has given the black tang a little time to rest, so we'll see how it goes. 
Unfortunately, the mirror didn't work miracles. The powder blue was off the black tang, but it just opened the black tang up to aggression from the purple tang. The purple tang just went up and beat on it. Now, it was just one purple tang that was the problem, but it was still too big of a problem. I tried feeding the fish to the point where they were so full they couldn't fight, but that didn't work either. In a last ditch effort, I set up the aquamedic fish trap in hopes of catching the two purples, the yellow and the powder blue, so I could pull them out, let the black tang get used to things, and bring the aggression down with the other fish. The goal was to catch one of the purple tangs, because they were the ones doing all the bullying and maybe the powder blue. But I caught the black tang and it was the least interesting catch possible. All I did was walk up and put the door on. The door wasn't even on the trap at the time. I was off watching Star Wars. So I guess back to QT with this guy. I put the hybrid black tang in QT and within a few days he was all healed up. He's now a beautiful, healthy fish again, but I gotta figure out what am I gonna do with this fish. So why did I fail? Well, tangs are aggressive fish towards each other. If you have tangs that are of different genuses, a lot of times you're gonna be successful with them. But even that powder blue being Acanthurius and the black tang being Zebrasoma, they still fought. So that's not a guarantee. And then when you have multiple tangs of the same genus, you're really setting yourself up for failure. To make this work, usually what you want to do is introduce all of the tangs at the same time so they don't have any territories. Well, that's not what I did. I tried the acclimation box, hoping that I could acclimatize the other fish to the new fish and that that would work. And I'd seen videos of that working in the past, but it didn't work for me. So going forwards, I've got some options. I can sell the fish and maybe make a tidy profit. I really hate that idea because it's a really cool fish and odds are I'm not gonna get another one. I could put him on my frag tank and have like the world's most expensive cleanup crew member. Still not a fun idea. I could set up a whole nother tank for this tang. But again, that's expensive and a whole nother tank to take care of doesn't sound like what I'm looking for right now. So the only real option at this point is catching the yellow tang, the two purples, and the powder blue, pulling them out of the tank, put them in QT and frag tanks for a week or two, and then introducing all of them at the same time. Now this has its own risk. It could go perfectly, or it could just turn into an epic battle, disrupting the relative peace that I have behind me. So I've got a lot to think about in how I wanna handle it. And I really haven't decided how this is gonna go. Feel free in the comments to give your ideas. There's a good chance I won't be able to answer all the comments, but I definitely read them all. So I think the big thing behind today's video is failure and how you deal with it. So I think I'm gonna leave us with a quote from one of the greatest thinkers of all time, Master Yoda. Failure, the greatest teacher it is. Thanks for watching.